Assalamu alaikum, hello, this is Bilal again in the fourth video of the English learning course. This lesson is going to be helpful for both beginner and advanced levels because I decided to speak in English at the very same time I add subtitles so beginners can understand. Before we start, I invite you to support me by sharing this video with, with your friends and family. Um, so we start ala barakatillah. In today's video, we will have four activities to do, okay? So, the first activity says, where to go. Means, the place that we are going to visit. Here it says, match the cities to the countries. Here, we have eight cities, and here, we have eight countries. Please note that these cities not all of these cities are the capitals of these countries. Okay? We will understand furthermore. So the first city is Rome. As we all know, Rome is in Italy. So um, we bring here an arrow and we draw from Rome to Italy. Okay, now the second one is uh, Budapest. Budapest is a city located uh, in which country? Is it in Australia? Is it in China? No, it is in Hungary. Sorry. Budapest is a city located in Hungary. Okay, now we come to the third city which is Seville. Seville here is Pilia. Seville is located in Spain. Alright, so from Seville up to Spain. Now Sydney. Where is Sydney? Where do we find Sydney? Is it in Argentina? Is it in China? Is it in Morocco? No. Sydney is a in Australia okay all right now we have uh, Marrakesh Marrakesh is well known in North Africa so it is located in Morocco right yes it is correct Marrakesh is uh, where is yeah here we go it is in Morocco now Shanghai, where is it located, Shanghai, where do you think, Argentina or China or uh, what else, or in USA, I think that Shanghai is a city in China, Shanghai. Okay, now we have the last two, Boston and uh, Bu Buenos Aires, Boston, I know that Boston is in the USA, it is a state in the USA, Wilaya Amerikiya. Okay, and finally, and the last one is... Oh my god, sorry. As I said, the last one is... Buenos Aires in Spain. Oops. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Not Spain. It's in Argentina. For Spain, we've already done this. Seville, Ispilia. Okay, so now we move on to the second activity. Here in this activity, we have a group of items that we should carry out with us when we have a trip or, uh, or maybe travel outside the country. For example, here we have a passport. Oh, I already solved this one. Anyways, the activity says, match the words to the pictures. Now, we have eight pictures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pictures and uh, eight words. Two, four, six, eight. Now, what do you think is this in the first picture? 
Is it a tablet? Is it a toothbrush? Is it a passport? Is it a phone charger? I personally think that it is a phone charger. Charger. Okay. So here we write. Let's bring some text. A phone. Charger. Okay. Let's move it a little bit. All right. Now the second picture. What do you think is this tool? Is it a is it a lock? Is it a passport? Is it a is it a tablet? Is it a toothpaste? We use this tool to clean our teeth. All right. So let's bring some text here and write a toothbrush. Very nice. Now we come to the third, to the third picture. What is this? Sakaradi. How do we say Sakara in English? The the Sakara in English is a lock. Okay. Very good. A lock. All right. So, how about the the fourth picture? What is this? The l'embrasement. How do we call it in English? Uh, travel guides. So, let us first uh, remove the the words we already used. So we used um. We used a lock. We used a toothbrush. We used um, a phone charger. Yes. So now we have a passport, a broadband pass, a tablet, a travel adapter, and uh, finally a travel or travel guides. So the l'embrasement is called uh, is called uh, a travel adapter. So each country has its specific charger. Okay, this charger type. So here you find uh, multiple charger types. You can charge and you, or you can use whatever type you need all right so here we bring some text and uh, we write uh, travel adapter right now we move on to the to the fifth picture what are these since it's plural here in these words we have just a word in plural which is travel guides uh, guides this is the the s of plural so since there are many items here it's a plural okay we write here travel guides maybe these travel guides contain maps contain directions contain streets and so on these are travel guides help tourists to find uh, restaurants, to find places, museums, etc. Now we come to the sixth picture. This is obviously <laughs> a tablet. Okay, this is a tablet. Let's remove the the words we used: travel guides, um, a travel adapter, a tablet, bon. Oops. <laughs> okay, let's write here a tablet. Very nice. Now we have only two pictures here, which are uh, one of these pictures is a passport, and the other one is a boarding pass. What do you think is a passport and what do you think is a boarding pass? A boarding pass is um, a billet d'avion. So this is the this is the boarding pass and this is the passport. Okay, so we bring uh, the text. A passport and finally a boarding pass. Uh, boarding pass. 
Very nice. So far, so good.